Hello friends, so today I'm going to share with you a simple exercise to cultivate qi and hong ying. In all internal traditions, first we practice qi, and then when we accumulate enough capacity or volume of qi, we can transform that invisible energy into an applicable power, which is hong jing. So hong jing is many things. It is a combination of your internal qi. It is a uh, combination of your balance structure, and it is also a combination of your proper movement. Okay, so within Hong Jing, you need to have a stable structure. You need to have proper breathing, proper movement, and applicable relaxation. And why do I say applicable? because some relaxation are not applicable. For example, when you lie down on the couch watching TV, this is not an applicable relaxation. This helps you to relax, but it doesn't help you to work, right? So applicable relaxation means you relax the major muscles, such as shoulder muscles, hip muscles, and thigh muscles, ankle, if you may, those relaxations help you build up a stable structure. But then you need to have some intent to lead the tension inside your body outwards towards your extremity. Okay, so that is about intention or E. Okay, so we have our intent on our fingers or on our palm as a guide that leads your qi outwards towards the extremities. And you need a proper structure created through relaxation. So you sink the shoulder, drop the elbow, relax your hip, relax your chest, relax your spine, and then tuck in your chin slightly, suspend your skull. With these uh, conditions matched, you have a proper vessel to cultivate Pong Jing. And then you relax the shoulder so your hand will float up easily without creating any muscle tension on your shoulder or elbow. And then you focus yourself in the lower Dantian. And then you just try to relax as much as possible, not only physically, but you also try to let go of any thoughts that comes in to distract you from focusing on the Dantian. Okay, so after we have fixated our structure, then you try to align yourself by aligning your Dantian downwards towards the tailbone and from the tailbone downwards to the earth and also at the same time there's an upwards pulling that suspends your skull it is a pulling force upwards so within your body there are two forces working at the same time one is sinking force the other one is suspending force and these two directional forces create a very concrete center line within your body and you want to hold that status you want to feel at the same time in your body there is pulling force down to the earth and there's also pulling force upwards uh, to this uh, to the heaven and then the rest you do is just relax Relax your body, open up your joints, and then relax your mind. Just try to maintain in this status as long as possible or as long as you wish 
first you can set a schedule for example five minutes every day uh, when you're comfortable with standing five minutes in this uh, when you have posture you can try to prolong the time to let's say seven minutes a day and when you're comfortable with that you can increase bit by bit until you can stand for example like 15 minutes or 13 minutes without having a tight shoulder having a sore body feeling and if you are able to do that then you will definitely feel Hong Jing within yourself and you will also feel how breathing works within your body through consciously relaxing your muscle without big changes for example dropping your elbow and so on it has to hold for amount of time so part of the reason why you hold it here is to wear out your muscle <laughs> and but also the other part is when you hold in this position you consciously relax the muscles that you don't necessarily have to use so eventually you will uh, reach an equilibrium which is balance your muscle feels soft and easy but at the same time you're holding a very complete structure and that is the basis of a good quality Kong Jing and when you're done you can do a little bit of concentrating force by opening your hands and gather all the chi that you practice in this time and you visualize your skull the Bai Hui acupuncture point it opens up and all the positive energy go from your Bai Hui into your center line and it is stored within your Dantian and then positive energy runs throughout your whole body much.